Okay, so my camera didn't record the audio that was originally with this video, so I just put a worm in with this one since I didn't have any small crickets, and then added a couple a couple drops of water onto the sponge. And um, this is a very tiny Gramistola pulcher peas or Choco Golden Knee sling. All right, this next one is an OBT sling or Torino Chylus Miranus. And I did actually have a cricket small enough for this one. And so you'll see that drop in in a minute. Um, but this one is a really fun feeding to watch. Because as you can see, right when the cricket starts to struggle again, the spider climbs up and grabs it out of the web, which is really fun to watch. There it is. And now move to the next one. All right, this is a Serrato gyrus darlingi. And this is a small cricket that I'm going to be feeding it today. We'll see if it wants to come up and get it. Hopefully. Well, it looks like it doesn't want to come up and get it right now. So I'll just move on to the next one. This is my Avicularia purple Peru sling, and it got a cricket as well. There you go. Just watch it move a little bit. The start of a happy dance there. But we'll move on to the next one now. So this is a Serratogyrus darlingi. This has actually been one of the hardest ones to get to eat on camera. So I started out by just throwing a little cricket in there, which moved enough to get it interested. And I could have gone in there with the tongs and pushed the cricket around to get the darlingi to strike faster, but my experience has been that that just makes it run into its hole. So I decided instead to throw another cricket in there. So that cricket seemed to pique its interest even more, and it was a little bit bigger. And the darling did end up eating both of the crickets eventually, but the second cricket was just enough to get it to, to come out and strike. And it was an awesome strike, too. Yeah, so this was one of the harder ones to get to eat. And there it is. I was super happy to finally get it, which you'll hear here. Yes! What? Woo! What? What? I got the darlingi eating on camera. My wife is very patient with my very dorky excitement about things like this. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's our Serratogyrus darlingi, and it, it was a very awesome strike and a really good feed. So this first one is one of the OBTs that we're going to be using for our OBT project and just we just dropped a little mini cricket in here and it took a while for this one to eat so we pushed it around with the tongs a little bit so it would go towards one of the 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 opening over in the side where the OBT had made its home. This is before we got um, equal housing for all the OBT slings. And so that's why you'll see some of them in these pill, these pill vials and others in like sauce cups or something like that. But there you can see the OBT pokes its head out a little bit. But with a little help, it grabs it and then it slowly drags it down into its burrow. Awesome takedown. This next one is another one of the OBT slings. And this cricket wasn't moving very much, so... I just helped it along, but this is one of the better eating OBTs so far. Again, they're still very small, but you can see they'll still have an awesome takedown like that one. Super awesome dragging it around the enclosure like that. Now this is hands down my favorite feeding video so far. We dropped the cricket in with um, 
the tenth of our OBT slings, and you can just watch the cricket crawl around, and you can see the substrate move as the spider realizes what's going on, and it just rushes out and takes down the cricket. Awesome takedown from such a small spiderling. This is the last OBT sling we got to eat on camera. Very quick, very clean takedown. Really awesome eater, really awesome tea. Next up is our Brachia Pelma Albopelosum Pelma, and this one just speaks for itself. <laughs> Sorry about that jump scare, but that was an awesome takedown and an awesome surprise. So this is our Venezuelan Sun Tiger and it was crawling outside of its hide a lot more than usual and so I figured it was probably hungry so I just dropped a mealworm in there you can see it there and I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of this feeding. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, super happy to have gotten that on camera. It's just crawling around, very happy. It's a beautiful spider. I was really worried because it's the first arboreal tarantula that my wife and I have gotten. And it's very big compared to our other tarantulas. But it's a very sweet tarantula now. But yeah, there you go. It did just molt a little while ago, but the molt was too small to sex, and so hoping it's a female, but we will see. Again, it's been a great eater so far, a great tarantula to have. This is my Nandu carapoensis, and it got a medium cricket. It's just hiding in the tube there. There's the strike, and it this um, this particular tarantula actually went into pre-molt, like a, a couple feedings after this video. So hopefully there will be an update video soon. Um, but now we'll move on to the next one. It, this is my hollow thalate inside gold form, and it's in its burrow, it's right there. And it is going to be getting a cricket as well. We'll see if it wants to eat it on camera for you guys. It doesn't want to eat it on camera, so I'll just move on to the next one. This is actually the final clip, and for some reason my camera cut off the audio from the first part. But what happened is I I put a, a dead worm, uh, a freshly killed worm, in with the Brachypelma sapulosum in this video, and um, it immediately picked it up, so I tried a live worm as well. And most of this video is the tarantula is struggling to pick them both up, even though it can't fit them both in its mouth. But the audio for the rest of the clip is there, so I'll just let that happen. And it looks like I got it. I was wondering if it would 
strike and pick it up if I dropped it down the back instead, and it looks like that worked. So there it is with the live worm in its mouth and one that I cut the head off to prevent it from burrowing.